chap here, boys. Oh, still waiting for Tyson, he's miles away. <sighs> Let's go, happy bear. Oh, rimbun banget ya. Rimbun, adem. Dah dia, leaving the barang-barang di bawah lebih cepat naik. Whoa, look at that, your right oh, side. Look at that. Wow. Look at the kabut. It's beautiful, right? When you look at the jungle and you see the fog coming in. Look at that, that is incredible. I love it. Let's see, there's a sign here. <coughs> so, what's that? That's a post five. A post five, not the summit, can? No. Uh, so, so, we're not that far away from post five. Where we camped yesterday, maybe 450 meters away from post 5, where we camped yesterday. So that's alright. That's yeah, fine. Let's go. Yeah. Now, if you look today, guys, hari ini, tidak ada merah, kan? So, kemarin saya bilang, kalau merah, you put the, the pen, and then, the next day or an hour later, if the red is outside the pen, it means your hand is infected and you may have blood poisoning, a blood infection. Uh, but you can see today, all the merit is gone, see? So all that means is, just my hand is just sore, but at least there's no infection, which is important, you know? So that's how you can tell if you have an infection or not, and it's quite, quite good. Look at that, wow. wow. Ruby, steep to sini, gaya tenjangan setan. Yeah, you know that rock is good. That rock on your right. Suara ni kebab. Still got to be careful, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and then jump forward. Come up here. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Buda. Okay, bro. Buka baju semua ya. Kau boleh berjemur. Di hutan. Celana, celana dalam. Mau di pantai hutan. Adanya hutan dah. Ada hutan ya. Tajukan setan ni bang. Ini benar tajukan setan di ceramai. It's for active one. Right. It's getting more extreme. <laughs> Jadi guys, ini gak pos lima, tapi, ay, tapi.
tapi ini sempurna banget buat buat camping sempurna banget lihat nih look coba lihat wah wow, this is great this is perfect for camping sorry so after after um, at least you know guys uh, on Gunung Ciremai Jalur Adoi Adoi ya? Apoi Apoi, Apoi, sorry Jalur Apoi Setelah post 4 Tapi sebelum post 5 Ada area di sini yang sempurna banget Untuk uh, camping Lihat nih oh, You can look around Yeah, with the edit we can look around on the 360 kan So you can see the whole area 360 degrees Pakai kamera ini yang bagus banget ini, ay, jeez, lihat nih. Ini kamera Insta 360, 361, sorry, 361 X2. And yes, a brilliant camera, highly recommend. No matter what mountain you climb here, it's always an emotional roller coaster. The journey is full of ups and downs, times where you're full of energy and optimism, and times where you're completely drained, feeling sorry for yourself. The reward comes when you finally reach the top after hours of struggle, with the sense of achievement after battling the fatigue of your body and the negativity of your mind telling you to go back. Wow, there you guys. This is post Lima. The summit is going to take you the summit's gonna take you. Just get after it. At least another what, an hour or two to get up there. At least another hour or two. Crazy. That is nuts. Nuts, guys. Siang, pagi, malam. Nah guys, ini gila. Kita baru pergi dari pos 5, pos 5 cuma di sana. Tapi lihat nih, look at the size of this mountain. Still to go, masih. Gila kan? It's like we still have one full mountain still to climb. Now, the concerning thing is, nobody's brought enough water. We maybe have enough water for an hour, two hours maximum. But it's going to be two hours to get to the top and then it's going to take us about six hours to get back down so that's actually pretty concerning so yeah we just have to be very yeah, careful with the water yeah and just spread the space it out but yeah so for you guys yeah that night going on so how you can judge bias and yeah the rule is tiga liter per orang per hari is the minimum you can take more of course i Actually, I brought six liters this time and it's already running out and we've only been here on day two. You can take more, but the minimum, just so you know if you're, oh, how do I know how much water to take? The kind of, we call it the rule of thumb is three liters per person per day is the minimum. <coughs> but you can see we're already running out and we, br we didn't bring that much, i.e. that ratio, but we brought, uh, the guys brought a lot, a lot and it's already running out, so, and it's hot very hot i'm sweating like crazy but yeah we need to press on because the time is getting on and i never realized we had that much of a mountain still to go it's crazy the size of that thing so yeah let's press on guys
you guys. So we are about 250 meters from the top. Uh, my brother-in-law Tyson's at the top. I waited behind, as you can see. I have no cameraman. He's uh, severely dehydrated. He never brings enough water, and then he never learns the lesson the next time. So every time, he's just dehydrated every time. But uh, he's a man. He's safe. But that's why the other two are at the top, and me, Sammy, is right there. And the camera guy and Rico are here. Yeah, because I wanted to wait for Dane to make sure that he's safe. Because when you're dehydrated, it becomes pretty dangerous. But look at the track, look. It's pretty steep. Uh, yeah, there's a sign back there that said we were about 280 meters from the summit. So it's about 250 meters now. But it's so high, honestly. You just take little steps at a time and you can hear my breathing right very slow and deep because of the altitude now we're already over 3000 meters thank god we left uh, like the full backpacks down at the camp basically not base camp but post sport where we set up a camp and we just uh, we just brought the small bags with water and stuff because this would have been even harder with the full kit, to be honest. <sighs> we are almost at the summit, look. Look at the views, look at the cloud coming in. Look at that. Jeez, I mean, it's just unbelievable, right? And uh, we're almost at the summit, it's right there. Oh, look at this, look, sorry, I'm going to turn the camera. Wow, look at that. Incredible. This is the summit just up here. So let's go. I'm exhausted, guys, honest to God. Exhausted. I had to wait for my cameraman. He's totally dehydrated. He's full up. Uh, I think this is a trick here. And uh, even in myself, I still have water. Oh, obviously, I've been sharing my water, but uh, I can tell my blood sugar is low, you know, like my hands shaking like crazy. Just means what happens is instead of your body burning fat and then starts burning muscle, um, it burns into what's called glycogen in the muscle and then you get the shakes, and that's why I'm shaking. And that's how I know that my blood sugar is severely low. Uh, here's, a, here's a guy running lately. Yo bang! Yeddy! Larry! Orang Larry! So yeah, you get guys that just come up here on a pair of shorts, they've got like the, the little gel packs on them, you know what I mean? Yeah, they've got water and those little nutrition packs. Sometimes they do competitions running up down the mountains, man, they are fit as thick. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We are at the Punchak. Wow, this is incredible! Look at this, wait till you see this, right? I don't think any of us were expecting to see this when we reached the summit. This is exactly the type of views of the world below that makes the hardship worthwhile. This is living. This is Indonesia. The wind at the top cuts through you like razor blades, so make sure you take a jacket with you for the summit as temperatures plummet below eight degrees. Represent for the bullet. <laughs> Represent for the bullet. I'm like, I gotta beat the Indonesian. Amazing guys. Amazing. Amazing, brother. Ding him. Ding him, Scully. Honestly, 
I need chocolate. My blood sugar is so low, I'm shaking and everything. Crazy. Mm. <laughs> Good guy. Come and check this then. John, come and check the view. Okay. I already got on the 360. Ah. Oh. Uh. Look at that, man. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Crazy gun. Woo. Ini kaya ini. Kaya gede. Hello. I'm good. Mana Rico? Yeah. Is he gonna get up? You reckon? Still. Still get up. Grab it from. Hold on, boys. Hold on. So look at this guys, this is all kita menyebutnya water erosion and this happens over hundreds of years and it's just slow streams of water that continuously trickle and if you look at this here masih ada ini kan? tapi nanti if you come back in maybe 100 years, 200 years this is gonna be boca like this, look so here's, you can still see the lump here right? where this used to be like this but the water has corroded it and then eventually it's gonna all be flat and it's gonna all run down because water always takes the easiest route or it always, and it always makes its own path. So yeah, interesting stuff, right? I wish there was water here now so I could drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was bang it. <laughs> Jeremy, a lot of history, bang eh? Yeah, loads of history here. And a couple of people have actually died at the top. You can see their memorials up there. It's not an easy mountain, it's the highest mountain in uh, uh, West Java, yeah. West Java. Highest mountain in West Java. Yeah. And yeah, it ain't easy guys, it is nails. I can't imagine bringing our full backpacks up here. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be hanging out, I'm telling you. But I mean, look at how beautiful it is, right? It's just incredible. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Yeah. Akbar di bawah ya. Akbar di bawah, bos, bos empat. Ya, nanti tidur lah. Ya semoga if we can if, ya tergantung lah. Kalau kita sudah di base camp dan kita rasanya sudah aman, masih aman sorry, dan kita akan pulang malam ini bagus. Tapi kalau enggak bagus, like kita capek, nah kita tidak natir. Tapi we just decide once we get there. We see how Bang Sam feels, how I feel, so we can maybe get to the drive. It's not far. We've driven much further before after worse hikes so yeah let's see lah just take it one by one if we can go home tonight great if we just wait until tomorrow no worries lah no worries okay guys kabut kabut yeah uh. my legs are on fire you know the front of your legs when you're coming down the mountain your legs are on fire and you just don't get enough oxygen kurang oxygen like going on kan but yeah still good Look at that, wow. It's a Indonesia, bro. Yeah, guys, jadi kita masih nunggu Bang Tyson di pos 5. 
kita santai dulu mungkin udah tiga bulan dia tidak sendiri dia sama orang lain Rico kan eh tapi kita nunggu di sini eh because he's very safety conscious kan so if we're waiting pasti gonna be tiga jam eh, because the rock is slippery kan and yeah we already used get used but Bang Tyson is very safety conscious so he's gonna be so lama banget untuk turun dari sini but yeah semoga dia pakai jalan bener <laughs> karena ada ada break kan bisa yeah, pergi kiri bisa palutungan sama ke apoy iya yeah, betul yeah. gitu jadi kita takut ini udah setengah jam di mana dia <laughs> tapi semoga gak tersesat kan <laughs> aduh oke okay. yeah, but the good thing is uh. from kita uh, udah tanpa air guys but the good thing is we know from post impact it's sedikit ekstrim tapi tidak tapi tidak gila kan ini lebih ekstrim ini gila ini sedikit ekstrim but we know it's not that bad and dari post empat kita sudah tahu kita ada 2 liter air lagi jadi and then for pulang dari post empat sampai base camp uh, bisa cepat banget because the the jalan-jalan is not ekstrim kan it's quite easy actually so we can get home pretty pretty fast rasanya kayak apa Sam capek atau enggak nanti enggak puas <laughs> bangsang yang orang lebih kuat semua <laughs> yeah later yeah we wait till we get to the bottom now to see if we're gonna camp yeah. we're gonna enggak bahaya kan yeah. mau bahaya enggak mau tidur di jalan <laughs> yeah. ini Sabtu jadi lebih rame yeah ini hari Sabtu guys jadi yeah, rame right. banget sekarang kan kemarin enggak rame tapi sekarang hari Sabtu rame banget rame banget sih ini benar-benar jaket bagus guys kalau kita mau berhenti this is great it has the the apa namanya material inside for kering and it's windproof and waterproof so it's benar ban bermanfaat saya tidak terlalu pakai beberapa banyak kali but now yeah i've realized how good this is i'm actually gonna bring it more often and wear it more often because it's a very good jacket ini local brand Indonesia tapi the quality is very bag very bagus the stitching is good ya yeah. sana oke okay, kita yeah. tunggu dulu ya <laughs> yeah. mana oh iya ada bang Tyson waktu sempurna kita baru ngomong kan dia baru <laughs> baru mau masuk iya <laughs> ayo ayo kita istirahat dulu ya <laughs> <laughs> kita serahat dulu, dan kita pulang posin. <laughs> oh, okay guys, ikuti terus. So, we just saw two portals, right? Both of them are carrying massive sacks on the end of a bamboo pole, as if it was nothing, just storming up the mountain. Tiny little guys. And we thought, oh, maybe these are guys coming to make a shop gun, bikin warung. Gak. Tapi, bang, ada, ada air mau dijual. Do you have any water that you want to sell? Gak. Gak. Kenapa? Why? Oh, because we've already run out of water. Okay, wait there. And then he came back up and already gave us a bottle of water. Didn't want any money for it or anything. Of course, we tried, but he did, didn't want anything for it. Gave us a bottle of water. Like, ah, oh, thanks a lot because we really needed it. <laughs> we really needed it, man. And uh, so at least we have extra on top of what we thought at post four. This is a good uh, morale booster, as we say. But we're just cracking on. When I get to post four as soon as possible, just waiting for Bang Tai because he's very slow but yeah gonna crack on lads see you soon oh aman aman dulu bang bisa lihat deh lebih baik sekarang nyampe di atas oh iya dong patas gak? it's okay mau diangetin? hmm go 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 pedes bisa gak? ah good enggak manis tomat semua kebanyakan so tired guys benar so chape Relief kan? When you already sampai. Oh. Ya. So it's incredible guys, honestly. Mm. It's hard work, I'm telling you. It's graft. We saw little guys, tiny little guys. We have two big massive sacks full of stuff on mm. the end of half a bamboo pole. Just holding the bamboo pole on their shoulder. With the two big massive sacks like porters, you know. Mm. Can't even imagine, honestly. Sometimes we're even complaining about the straps on our bag hurting, mm. you know. And these guys are carrying bamboo on one shoulder. Two big massive sacks. Crazy. Must be at least 40, 50 kilos. Crazy. And they don't complain, they just get on with it. 
Amazing kan? Hmm. Really amazing. Eh. Uh, Sekarang kita makan dulu. Ya, yeah, makan dulu guys. We're gonna wait for Bang Tyson. We're gonna eat first. We'll pack away our gear and we'll crack straight on and get them there. Season. <laughs> Gara bang. Hey yeah, guys, so let's go ya. Kita sudah persiapan headlamp because it's gonna get dark. What time is it? Jam berapa sekarang? Tengah lima. Empat. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna try and smash it going home because the track, the worst track is from here upwards. Yeah. But the best track is from here down. So we're just gonna try and smash it and get okay. home and uh, yeah, we'll get to base camp anyway. And yeah. then still. Tidak yakin kalau mau pulang malam ini atau enggak nanti kita decide gitu. Tapi ada banyak orang di sini. Yeah. Itu rame. Mari mari. Makasih. Ada lubang kan? Oh, ada lubang. Eh. Enak aja. So guys, we've already come back from post Tiga, post three. Not quite at post two yet, we're just taking a quick rest because the dehydration is really kicking in. Even though someone gave us extra water at the top, you can, but you're just constantly sweating, you know? I'm absolutely soaking right now, soaking wet. Uh, you probably sweat about a litre of water, maybe even more. And that's a mixture of obviously the humidity in the jungle and then obviously the exertion of the exercise carrying you know 26 kilograms of kit through the mountains slash jungle it's, it's definitely not easy and you can feel it you can feel yourself starting to get confused a little like if there's a track going left and right they both end up in the same place but one will be better to walk on than the other you know i mean you're trying to decide your decision takes so long because you're con you're dehydrated you know you're confused it's it's crazy because you notice it when you're trying to look for the signs of dehydration but hopefully, yeah, we're just gonna stay here for a couple of minutes and then Lanjuk Terus ke Pos Dua Santai dulu, istirahat di sana and then langsung ke Pos Satu dan Base Camp The good news is, the track is much better now um, It's not really hilly, this is a slight hill as you can see but it, the track itself is mostly flat so yeah, we can pretty much power through it especially when we get to Pos Two and Pos One we can just smash it and try and get there you're always trying to think kamu selalu pikiran kalau dehydrasi kan tanpa air yeah what's the best option do we go slow and steady or do we smash it out and go fast and try and get to the base camp you know before we faint from dehydration so you're you're left with these kind of decisions do we go slow and steady but you're just going to dehydrate anyway you know it's just going to take you longer so yeah we're trying to smash it uh, bang tyson and two of the other guys akbar and rico uh, we don't even know where they are they're miles away up there um, but we just came ahead. They obviously said, yeah, go ahead, because there's three of us and three of them, you know? So it's not like we jacked on them and just left one guy behind, of course. We wouldn't do that, but there's three of us, three of them, so, yeah. We're just gonna crack on now, guys, and get to the base camp so we can get some water down our necks, because you can really feel it, especially like Pocari sweat, because you can feel the cramps kicking in, you know? So, yeah. Kita mari berangkat. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We're already at post two. And like I said, you can just really feel the dehydration kicking in. My legs are on fire. My feet are on fire. <laughs> He's dropping all his gear because he can't be bothered putting it down. <laughs> Chappy, gun. Chappy. Chappy, boss. Oh, still waiting for Tyson. He's miles away. We're going to rest for 510 minutes. Yeah, we're going to rest here for about 5-10 minutes, guys, and then We'll crack on to post one and then on to base camp. Okay. Thank God. Hey guys. Woo! Akernia. 
kita sudah sampai di base camp harus minum elektrolit <laughs> harus minum air langsung guys kita benar-benar capek dan haus banget masih nunggu bang <laughs> jauh banget ya benar guys itu ga, kita gak mungkin nunggu dia di di sana terlalu lama guys tapi pasti bisa nunggu di sini tapi kita terlalu banyak dihidrasi kan jadi aduh kita harus air langsung tapi ada akbar apa iya yeah, tapi sama akbar sama bang akbar tim saya but yeah that's all guys for gunung cermai benar-benar seru banget gunungnya ini benar-benar hutan banget ada hewan jalurnya enak every corner ada sesuai sesuai eh, sesu sesuai yang lain beda kan like wah lihat itu wah lihat ini benar and the summit yang puncak sumpah guys itu luar biasa tapi dingin sekali di atas jadi kalau kamu datang di sini dan mungkin eh, bikin tenda di pos 5 pos 4 gitu kan dan kamu taruh semua barang-barang di sana dan kamu cuma mau naik gunung sama tas kecil kamu harus bawa jaket karena di atas dingin, dingin sekali guys dingin sekali dan kalau kamu basah banget dari terkering ya yeah, you're gonna be so freezing banget dan bisa menjadi eh mendapatkan eh like hypothermia kan jadi bawa jaket bawa banyak air di sini mungkin 3 liter per orang per hari karena yeah. tidak ada air di atas dan we learn the hard way the hard way kan kita mengejar kita belajar lewat susah <laughs> dari pen dari pen kan oke okay, guys so saya boleh bolang ini gunung cermai jangan lupa like subscribe comment dan bagi-bagi dong cheers